Hey! So this is my next video. This one's going to center around the E50M as well as the um, Panther. I'm just going to start off with the E50M much more slightly my favorite than other tanks although it is still my second favorite after the Black Prince. So the E50M is a modification or actually they fixed the design uh, of the E50. The E50 had a critical weakness where the transmission was mounted in the front where if you shot it in the front then you could break the transmission. They changed this by then putting the transmission in the back around in here to create the E50M. The E50 and E50M were uh, designs made specifically to win the war. They were not expensive. These were not approved by Hitler, by the way. That would have been a very different uh, tank. It was made to be less expensive, easier to produce, and quite mobile with a very good gun, which really stands out in World of Tanks, because where is the accuracy? They don't have accuracy listed on here, do they? Okay. So, basically, the accuracy on this is the highest in the game. And you can increase it to something like 0.26 meters at 100 meters. Which means that at 100 meters you would hit within 26 centimeters of where you aimed on a given target. That is, of course, 100 meters away. As you can see here, the welds, it was welded together instead of cast, which saved production time because you didn't need giant freaking cranes to lift an entire turret all of all the time and gantries and everything which can are really easy to destroy by bombing okay I like this one mainly because it's heavy but it moves fast and it's got very accurate gun and I like hiding and sniping now to move on to the panther this is not one of the ones that actually got used in the war and it has a Canadian flag on it I'm not Canadian I just admire the Canadian tankers who worked from Italy all the way through actually Canadian tankers who worked everywhere in World War 2 and today as well because they tried hard and got very little recognition at the time so the panther was designed partly to compensate for the t-34 partly just for funsies to be a more efficient tank it is the panzer 5 instead of panzer 4 or 6 6 is the tiger panzer 4 is just the panzer 4 this is a panther this is the Pan panzer 5 panther Otherwise, yep, it's got, in this game it doesn't really hold out to its real life qualities. It had very good armor on the front due to the slope, and just overall a very, very nice tank. I enjoy it, it moves fast, it's got a good gun, skates. which again holds out in my favorite tanks list overall my favorite tanks in the game are in order from one to three I guess probably the Black Prince the
the E50M, then the Panther. Well, actually, okay, well, I'll, I'll talk about the Carnarfa next video, okay? Right now, I'm just focusing on these. And this is Normandy. Let's see, Overlord, Operation Overlord, meaning D Day. So. Whoa, that's cool. Okay. Anyway. In real life, had very good armor and a very good gun, and in fact, it was pretty scary when they released just the Panther term. You gotta shoot the 88s. Or run them over, that was really fun. Aw, can't hide inside these. Okay, so... In the actual battles in Normandy, German tanks would hide in hay bales, or hay lumps, or whatever they're called. Um, okay, great. Okay. It's attacking time. Okay. So, overall, very good gun. Oh darn. I was kinda hoping that I had tracked him so I could get around the side of him and shoot him in the back. But the stir ammo is a pretty good tank destroyer. And he blew off my turret. That's a really long gun by the way. I highly suggest that long gun. Can't remember which gun it is. I'll check when I get out of this game. By the way, I can get out of the game in the middle of it, but I don't want to right now because I'm making a video. Um, anything else? Oh yeah, so, in real life it was fitted with a 75 usually, but in the game sometimes you can use an 88 and stuff. The 88 is very underpowered in this game, and it kind of makes me sad that they would do that to something so terrifying in real life. The Panther is a very good tank, but my list of my favorite tank in the world in real life is the Leopard 2A6. It's my dream to get one because it's right now it's heavily right now it's in service with the German army as well as other armies. Uh it's the most widely used tank in the world in terms of number of countries that use it. Because it's a very ver versatile, mobile tank with a very good gun. The United St I'd like to point out that the United States does have the Abrams, which is a bit like. It has superior range and accuracy at that range, but for all around use and being able to be flexible, the Leopard 2 A6 is far superior. The United States Army and military overall uses has a lot of vehicles that can that ha can do specific things. Like, we've got Bradleys for fighting infantry and stuff, and tanks for fighting tanks. But, that's not true of all countries.
but overall I like the Panther and I suggest it if you want to play because it is on the way to the E50 and the E50M which are the most accurate tanks in the game Indeed, Chrome Hounds. Wow. That is not the uh, turret that was used in real life, by the way. real turret had a giant thing on the top of it or at least the G model did which was the commander's cupola they're destroyed half tracks all over this battlefield hmm. there's a lot of smoke and sadness Oh, the one guy on the enemy team that's left is named after Francis Marion. And they're capturing our base. That's... That's okay. We're far ahead of them as long as nobody gets off. We've... If you have any questions based on tanks or the history of them, please leave those in the comments below. And I'll work, and I'll try to, and I'll try to make a uh, video answering those questions in the future. Okay, thanks for watching.